Hey there, my name is Alze Calhoun with CovetedConsultant.com. Today I'm talking about public speaking for consultants. So you're a consultant and you finally got the opportunity to speak in front of prospective clients or to communicate with people who want to hear what you have to say. So let's talk about how to get the most out of that opportunity. Warning in advance, I'm going to go through a lot of content quickly in this video, so get ready. Here we go. First of all, be clear about your end results, whether it's to secure a client, secure a referral, secure a partner, establish thought leadership, or any other specific goal you have. Articulate that goal for yourself. Write it down on the script that you have, but make sure that you're clear on what it is that you exactly intend to get out of this presentation. Step number two is to focus. And specifically, I'm talking about focus on the people in the room. Don't overwhelm them unless you mean to. So if, if your intention is to overwhelm the audience with way too much information to show them how broad the topic is and how much they need your help, that's good. But if you find yourself rambling, sharing side stories, and giving too much detail, you're overwhelming in a way that's not helpful. So again, think about that end result and focus on that result with, whether you choose to overwhelm or not to overwhelm. Point number two is remember this rule. 10% of the people in the room are going to love you, Ten, no matter what you do. 10% are going to hate you or don't need you, no matter what you say or do. The other 80%, you have a chance of swaying them in one direction or another. So with that being said, speak to the middle 80% and do your best to sway them. Let me be clear. Don't try to sway them to work with you. Sway them to make a decision. Help them decide on whether or not it's smart to work with you at, at this particular point in time. The last thing you want are poorly qualified clients in your mix. They take up more time than you have to give them. So again, 10% will do no matter do whatever you say no matter what you say. 10% are not interested no matter what you do or say. It's the 80% in the middle you're trying to sway one way or the other and give them the information they need to make it, to make a qualified decision. Part number three is maintain their attention. So ask a question, and if you do, stop and wait for the answer. Don't just keep talking and, and, and let that question be rhetorical. If you, if you ask a question, stop and get the answer. Don't be a PowerPoint drone. Don't just go on and on changing from slide to slide. Tell a story through those slides. It's best if you can tell one core story, one principal story that connects through all the slides. We like to hear stories better. Add an impromptu element and, sh and show some life. So it's amazing what my clients reveal after they get off the script. And once I can get my clients talking honestly about what they do, then all of a sudden they perk up and come to life. So bring someone up with you on stage and do a live case study. Ask the audience some questions and get those answers and respond to what they say. Whatever it is, add an impromptu element, something unscripted. That will help you show some life and connect better with the audience. Make a purposeful shift in delivery. So sometimes you'll speak faster to work through certain points. Sometimes you'll slow down and speak more deliberately to ensure that the audience hears exactly what you're saying. Either way is fine, but make purposeful shifts in delivery so your audience can tell what's important and what may not be as important last point here is have a specific call to action so whether it's a buy or a trial or a call or a refer or you want you want them to, to follow you whatever it is that you have planned for them ask them to do something you have their attention for this finite period of time ask them to do something and that something should be should, should attach to whatever it is that your end result was so this is a great way to think about speaking in front of an audience before you actually get in front of that audience so that what you do is not only good for you but good for them as your listeners if you enjoyed this content there's a lot more content that we have available you can go to covetedconsultant.com slash free you can pick up a blueprint that is the baseline for every quality consulting company i look forward to speaking with you soon again my name is alzay calhoun